Hello travelers, welcome to my channel. In this travel vlog, we are going to explore the beautiful Bohol in the Philippines. If you are traveling the Philippines with us, you will know that our latest travel vlog was from the epic Cebu. I am super sad to leave Cebu, but new adventure awaits and we are leaving to Bohol. Bohol is one of the most visited destinations in the Philippines. To get to Bohol, you will need to take a cab from Walboal to Oslo, from where you will board a ferry that will take you straight to Panglao. Welcome to beautiful Bohol. We are staying in Bangalore Island around Alona Beach, which is the best place to get accommodated. We're gonna have three whole days to explore Bohol. The first thing we gotta do is to rent a scooter and fortunately they have the cheapest scooter we found here in the Philippines right next to our accommodation. So we are renting them for 400 pesos for 24 hours, which is perfect. We also have to fill in some paperwork which has never ever happened before here in the Philippines. <laughs> it has order, I like that. We just arrived to Alona Beach and it's quite cute, we're gonna hang out here for a while. Alona Beach is a small stretch of tropical paradise. However, due to its narrowness, I was a bit more impressed by the lovely area around the beach with all the bars and restaurants. Good morning! Today we are starting our day bright and early because we have so many things ahead of us. We're gonna admire the chocolate hills, take a dip in Panga's waterfall, and explore the man-made forest. So let's get this day started! And we have made it! These are the famous chocolate hills. It was quite a hike up here, but the views are 100% worth it. And you might be asking, why are they green if it's called the chocolate hills? Well, during the dry season, they get brown. This area was once coral reefs that died 2 to 5 million years ago and later transformed into limestone. These hills that are currently the icon of Bohol started to form about a million years ago. Some of the hills are small, they have around 30 meters and some of the hills are high as of 120 meters. And it's quite a touristy place but definitely worth the hype. And the second stop of today are the Pangas waterfalls. I can't wait to get in because the heat here is incredible. But nothing makes sense anymore. This waterfall is awesome for just chilling and swimming. Some of the parts are quite deep so you can enjoy your swim. And it is not busy at all, which is the best thing. This morning we've had a big and rich breakfast, so now we just stopped for lunch at 7-Eleven and we got this uh, noodle soup, instant noodle soup. Yeah, that's our guilty pleasure. I guess they're not super healthy, but they're delicious and it's just 60 pesos for the one cup. When you get a silverware that is both a spoon and fork, what else do you really need? We 
have just made it to the man-made forest, which is a stretch of mahogany trees long 2 kilometers. The trees were planted here in 1960 by locals to address the problem of deforestation. They chose specifically mahogany trees because they grow super fast. It's quite funny because people are all along the street and there are always just cars passing by honking and people are like, no, I need to get that shot. <laughs> And our last stop on the way home is the Baclayon Church, which is one of the oldest churches in the Philippines. It has beautiful paintings on the ceiling and the whole church is just so impressive. We are right now traveling the Philippines during Easter and you can really tell that for them their religion is very important and they are very proud of it. 86% of the population is Roman Catholic. One delicious pad thai later back on Panglao Island we went to get massages to recharge for the next day. The massages here are among the best in the world and they are very affordable. We usually get one every other day while traveling the Philippines. It's a brand new day here in Bohol and today we are taking it very easy. We had the best swim in the morning and then we got this delicious breakfast that was from out of this world here in Alisa Garden. We got some fresh papaya juice that came from a garden right here. We also got some delicious tea and coffee from Chinese supplier and also some local delicious vegetable and fruits and we are fully energized and ready to start the day. Today we are going to see the tar which is something that I'm looking forward to the most. They are these little animals that have these cute huge eyes. They look like aliens. I am so so excited to see them. Are you ready to meet the aliens? We've arrived to the Tarsier Sanctuary and these are one of the smallest primates in the whole world and they can be only found in Southeast Asia and we have to be super quiet because they are very sensitive to a noise. Their eyes are bigger than their brains and they occupy 60% of their face. They can turn their heads around 360 degrees but their eyeballs can only stare still. They are active at night so when you are walking around you have to be very quiet not to disturb them. They are the cutest thing on planet Earth. I would take one home immediately if I could. This was perfect and now we are off to Lobok River. Lobok River is a stunning greenish river surrounded by palm trees resembling a place from a postcard. We decided to explore this river on a one hour long cruise with a generous buffet lunch offering popular Filipino dishes. On this floating restaurant you can enjoy your meal while admiring the scenery and listening to Filipino singers and musicians on board. Very lovely experience. such a beautiful experience. We were a little bit worried that it's gonna be too touristy. Well, it was, but it was very well organized. The food was good, the music was very nice, and oh my gosh, the scenery along the river, so breathtaking. After Lobok River, we hopped on our scooters and drove to the central part of Bohol, where we found these incredible rice terraces. I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start. 
The Filipino countryside is so beautiful and it is very different from the seaside. It's like a completely different world. There are endless rice terraces everywhere around and you can really tell that rice is the main part of Philippine cuisine. Good morning! After today's delicious breakfast, we are starting the day in Hinagdanan Cave. This cave is made of limestone with stalagmite and stalactite formations and a freshwater lagoon that is 12 meters deep. The cave was accidentally discovered by a curious farmer who stumbled upon these two holes. He dropped a stone and heard a splash. During the Second World War, the cave served as a hideout for the locals to escape from the Japanese army, but unfortunately they were eventually found. To be honest, it just didn't do it for me. It is a nice cave, but we just came back from Mexico where are thousands of cenotes, so yeah, it's nice, but eh. And our last day on Bohol, we decided to stay on Panglao Island and visit the South Palms Resort, where is the most beautiful beach I have seen throughout my travels in the Philippines. Just look for yourself. If you spend some money here in the beach bar, you are free to use their sun baths and enjoy this beautiful beach. I really enjoy it when our days are filled with activities and we are just going from one thing to another, using our time efficiently when we are traveling. But sometimes you just need, you know, a day to take a break and to just relax, to get re-energized, to be able to move so fast and to travel efficiently. These were the highlights of Bohol and now you have an idea of what Bohol is all about. Thanks for watching, do subscribe and I will see you next time in Boracay.